down to go down memory lane anytime if it's going to inspire something as beautiful as these nachos. And you know what I mean. Yo, how have you been? It's been way too long. But check this out. I got something I want to show you. This is me in 2010 with my friend Hector at a pool party during Coachella Fest in Palm Springs, getting it in. Now when I say getting it in, I don't know if you saw my last video, we party hard. But this is not about partying, this is about reminiscing and recreating. So one thing we used to do after the pool parties, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning, we would be starving, so we'd be like, let's get some food. We would go to a place called and you could order these large, massive nachos, and we would just terrorize those things and not leave a drop. But we always woke up the next morning with the same question. How's your stomach feel, fam? I got the bubble guts. You got the bubble guts too? Yeah, I got the bubble guts too. It was a give and a curse. The food was delicious, but the next day we always felt horrible. They're back. The bubble guts are back. I knew it, man. I shouldn't have ate those nachos, bro. I should have got freaking salad or something. Welcome to another episode of This Recipe Reminds Me Of, where I'll take an image or an item or invite someone to the show, and we will recreate a dish based on a memory. In this episode, we're going to recreate those nachos for But they're going to be 100% vegan. I love my mushrooms, and I have some fresh pink oyster mushrooms right here and also have some blue oyster mushrooms right here. I grew these right here at home. Uh, this recipe that I'm going to make today normally calls for lion's mane, but I have all these extra mushrooms, so I want to put them to use. One thing I hated so much about mushrooms, I've been vegan for six years and the first three and a half years I hated mushrooms because I felt like they were way too chewy. So I have a technique where I cook out all the water and then I reinstate the flavor by using a marinade and then I do my magic, whatever I'm gonna do with that after. So I'm gonna show you that and I hope you guys are excited to go down memory lane with me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, share, show some love. It's a good thing. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of separate you know, the mushrooms from each other. All right, now I know this is a lot of mushrooms. I'm making almost a triple batch. Uh, like I said, I have tons of mushrooms left over, so I'm gonna put them to use. If you don't know by now, mushrooms go bad pretty quick within three to five days, but I will put the recipe below if you just wanna make a simple one batch. Add your oyster mushroom to a cast iron pan if you have one, or if you have access to one. You don't need to add any salt, no water, no oil. What we're gonna do first is cook all the water out. So I add the press on top and I just kinda let it just sit there. All right, you can hear the water starting to be released from the mushrooms. One of the main reasons why I do this is a lot of the mushroom taste is in that water. So we wanna cook that out and then infuse our own flavor into it as well. Also, it allows the mushrooms to be less chewy and more meaty texture. All right, that looks pretty good. There's a little water left, but now we can move to the next step. We're gonna chop up the mushrooms so they have more like a corn asada vibe, if you know what I mean. Add our chopped mushrooms to a bowl. Now let's make our marinade. Some orange juice, we're gonna add Worcestershire sauce, liquid aminos, cilantro, garlic. I love garlic, so we're going extra garlic on this. Then we're gonna add some lemon juice, cumin, chili powder, and salt and pepper. Let's mix it together and pour our marinade on the mushrooms and just look how beautiful that looks. You can see all the spices and the herbs, the garlic. It just looks like it's gonna have a lot of flavor. Uh, the mushrooms marinating, and they smell so good. Wow. Let me show you, right? Our next step is to cook up the mushroom meat 
and then we can start making our nachos. All right, now we're gonna add our mushroom meat back to the pan. And we're gonna grill it up like you would grill up some corn asada meat. This smells so good. One thing I learned since I've been vegan is if you want really delicious, tasty food, you just gotta mimic the spices, the herbs, the sauces, and the texture, and that's the main reason why I wanted to cook the water out. This about to be fine. Let's add more chips. First thing I wanna add is our grilled mushrooms. Fresh salsa on top. Can't have nachos without salsa, right? Now we're gonna add some vegan cashew ranch sauce. Some cashew vegan cheese. And we're gonna go heavy on the cheese. Let's add some fresh cilantro, little chives on top. We got the lights flashing like we had Coachella. Now it's time for a taste test. Here we go, here we go. Mmm. See these? Bring me these at Coachella next time. Thank you for watching this episode of This Recipe Reminds Me Of. If you don't mind, do your boy a favor, subscribe, like, share, ask me any questions in the comments, and I appreciate you watching this video. Peace.